uh, get started. Uh, we learned about the chapter three about the internet and the World Wide Web uh, and some of the related concepts uh, of e-commerce infrastructure. Uh, about the internet, you know, internet have a long history, uh, more than 50 years ago. And um, internet has changed many, many things, uh, even some business models and our lives as well. And internet, uh, uh, the, uh, the purpose, main purpose of internet is to connect um, thousands or millions of computer or millions of computers, networks, or other devices together. So they can link to our uh, businesses or educational institutions, even government uh, agencies, or individually like this. So we can learn online like this, right? And uh, make some of the transaction or remote working from uh, far distance. And when we would like to use the website, you know, website is the, one of the very first service on the internet. Uh, to use the, 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 the website, we must have the World Wide Web. We call that the World Wide Web. So we can um, use in the web to display the text, the audio, the videos, links together. Uh, that's the, um, the overview of the World Wide Web. And this is uh, shows that they, you can see that the uh, evolution of the internet from uh, 1961 until now. Uh, firstly, it's just uh, connect to the, some of the local mainframes together. And then they enlarge to uh, the large uh, institutions and then uh, it's moved to a uh, commercialization phase uh, from 1995 until now. <clears throat> so now we move to some of the key technology concepts behind uh, the internet and e-commerce systems. Um, we will discuss about uh, when we want to uh, transfer the information online, we must use the IP addressing and the internet can support the TCP uh, IP uh, protocol. Uh, so three important concepts we'll discuss here about the packet switching, TCP IP communication protocol and clients of uh, computing. Uh, the first one is about packet switching. For example, you send uh, a photo to your friend, you know, using Zalo or Messenger or Instagram. So the, you can know that the, basically that photo is, uh, um, is a collection of bits, you know, the bit 1010, okay, um, digitally. And it will, it will not send uh, at one time the whole uh, collection of bits like that, but it will slice the, those, the message into the packets like this, okay, slice. So that's it, the packet. So it will the slice those bits in a smaller portions. And then they will send the packets along different communication paths. So the packets, they did not uh, uh, move on the same path, but from different um, paths online. And then when they reach the destination, they will reassemble together. Okay, so now your friend you can get can get the uh, your photo you send to uh, uh, to them. Okay, so that's the. the um, the the operation behind um, behind our uh, activities. Okay, so sometimes they use in the the routers. Okay, uh, so in the routers they have the routing uh, algorithms to ensure the packets will uh, select the best available path to the 
destination. This is a sample of packet switching. For example, you send a text message like this originally, right? But this is for the human to read. For the computer, it will assume like this. It will digitalize into the bits like this, right? Basically, your photos or your text are the bits like this. And then they will slice the message into uh, the smaller portions and it becomes packets like this. And then in the packets, how can they, uh, they know the destination and they can reassemble the message. At this, at this time, they will use the header information. Okay, header information, what is it? In the packets, they have a header to add the, uh, to add additional portion to indicate the destination. Okay, so we can know that how many bits are in the total message and how many packets do we have. Next one, we will discuss about the TCP IP. Uh, it stands for the uh, transmission control protocol. Okay, so it established the connection between sending and receiving the web computers. Uh, so it will handle the package. Just, it's just a rule, you know, the rule to uh, establish the connection. And we have the internet protocol provide the addressing scheme. Uh, you know that behind the website, uh, we have the the IP address, okay? For example, we have like the, uh, let's say uh, one website, right? Uh, we have abc.com, all right? abc.com, okay? Work by web something. All right, so this is the, we call that the domain name, okay? And behind that, we have the IP address, okay? We have the IP, IP address behind the system. IP address is like the, the, the address of your website, uh, your home, right? So your home have the address, the website also has the address like this. For example, uh, maybe it will be like this. Okay. Something like this. So we call the IP address. And we have the IPv4, which contains the 32-bit number, like this. We call the IP address. And uh, in the future, maybe we're using the IPv6. It's a uh, uh, longer address like this. Okay. So why we have the we have the website? The name of the website is for the human, easier to read. So the question is, can we type this IP address to access the website? The answer is yes. Okay, so we send from the sender and we routing TCP ID, break the data into packets, and then we will send them in many paths and finally they is re assemble the package to the whole. Yes, the message. Okay, next one I would like to discuss about the domain name. The domain name is quite simple. It's just the name for in the natural language for human to read, right? Like Alibaba, Tiki, something, everything, right? So we have it's for humans. So it will be in like alphabet or numbers, right? To to put the domain name. And what is the domain name system? Domain name system allows to express the uh, the the numbers of IP address like this into the domain name. So we have the DNS over here, dom domain name system to do this. Okay, it's a uh, transform from IP address into the alphabet. So in the uniform locator, the URL is usually like this. Address the web browser to identify the location of the container of the web. Okay, so we have HTTP something and slash. So we have the URL. And the client and server computing. We have the client here and server. 
So what exactly? Okay, let's continue. Uh, we talk about the, the, the client and server computing. This is uh, um, the network models were brought in the uh, 1990s. Uh, I, uh, 19, and now we can we still use that. You know, we have the client, client here, for example. Uh, so we have the client, this means that um, all of the personal devices, like your laptop, your um, well, your 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 phones or your iPads. So those are the clients, okay? And we are the user, okay? We are the user here, we are the user. And the user, for example, you press. Uh, I want to open the uh, Facebook on your phone, right? It means that's a client. And what happened then? The client will send uh, a request to the server. Okay, so this is the server. And they will send uh, the request. Send the request here. Yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, the Facebook, they didn't store the information on your phone, right? But they send a request to the server to get the information for Facebook, and they will send the response to your phone. And now you can see, uh, now you can see the, um, now you can see the, the information on Facebook over here. So that is the, the, the concept of client and server, and it's all around us, right? So sometimes we can store the files. Uh, so on your website, you have the, the portion uh, to store the data. Okay, you put the data here on your server. And then we get the data to, to your phone. And uh, now uh, the emerging of the mobile platform here, uh, we have the netbook, smartphones is quite uh, cheaper. And some of the disruptive technology, such as the processors here, you know, the, the power of the chips getting, uh, getting uh, more uh, powerful. And we have the cloud computing, uh, such as the Google Apps, uh, Microsoft Office 365, and many other services. And this is the trend of the future. We move into the cloud. And the uh, ISP is just the internet service provider, such as FPT, Viptel. Uh, I think you know this, right? And uh, maybe in the near future, they will provide by satellite, uh, like the uh, the project from Elon Musk. He uh, launched many satellites to broadcast the internet to all over the world, right? And we discussed about the internet and extranet. It's just the internal network. Internet is the internal network for one organization. And just the employees can access to this network to get the data. And sometimes we open to the, the clients or the suppliers uh, to access the internal network so they can, uh, so the, at, at this time it's uh, expanding the internet. So we call that the extranet. The question is, uh, who uh, govern the internet? Those, those are the information that influence the internet monitor and its operation. Uh, so you can see here, like ICANN and many other uh, um, W3C, etc. So they will observe and govern the internet. Okay, so this is the review questions you should answer uh, in the videos. Uh, the first one, you should name and describe the five services uh, currently available through the web. And the next question is why are the mobile apps uh, the next uh, big thing? Okay.